my business card, um, I think I have my, my first name and my last name, um, my position, so I'm scientist in cancer immunology at Genentech in uh, San Francisco, uh, my address and my phone number. <laughs> I lead a research team in, um, in, in a big pharma company. Um, I work in basic science and uh, in the same time, so I lead three to four people in, in the basic science part and uh, I do some uh, drug discovery in the same time. Uh, and I think the coolest things of my job is um, it's all about science and uh, basic science or applied science to, to develop new treatment. And there also probably that there is no limitation. We can do whatever we want in terms of uh, support, facilities, uh, money. Uh, so I think it's, it's really to have, to have great, uh, great science and, and great support. In the future, I think where the, the science will bring me and that's all I, 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 I work since now. So it's really what I'm happy to, to work on and I hope I can contribute in, in developing new treatment for diseases um, and in the same time make great uh, basic science discovery uh, and, and have fun <laughs> in science. So I train as a, as a bioengineer in biotechnology and uh, I worked for a short time in, in a startup in direct development. Then I came back to university because I decided to step back to, to learn a new field which was immunology that I got very passionate about. So uh, I did a PhD in immunology and then a postdoc at IST Austria in Michael's sixth lab. Uh, I worked on migration of leukocytes and uh, develop new bioimaging uh, technique and assays that I can now apply in my current job. Uh, so I looked at immune cells recruitment in tumor and how to stimulate the recruitment of those leukocytes to, to improve cancer immunotherapy. So I think IST gave me the freedom to explore science, like the edges of science of, of my field, like working at the interface between immunology and uh, bioimaging, for, for example. So the, the platform of bioimaging is amazing and is always uh, stimulating the progress, I would say, like the development of, of new techniques. And I think my mentor gave, had a, like a biggest role. Um, he gave me freedom and he gave me, um, I would say, support also in terms of um, job uh, research, like looking for jobs and connecting with uh, his network and confidence. And then um, IST, the institute itself, I think it was my first international experience. So I learn English here probably because I came from France. So now that I'm living in the US, the Americans say I speak with a German accent. I'm not sure about that. I think I still have my strong French accent. But um, yeah, I connected with um, different culture and um, different type of uh, uh, science. I would say it's really multidisciplinary. So I could connect with like mathematician or physicist and um, that's what I liked at, at ISD. <laughs> I mean, if I rely on my experience, I would say follow the science, where the science brings you, but take action. Like you are the actor of, of your career, right? So you, you have to take decision uh, if you need to step back, if you need to change direction, or uh, it's, it's really you have to keep being proactive and work hard, <laughs> sadly, for papers. <laughs> it's like, Papers can get you everywhere, so um, it's, it's, it's about science. And um, then go to conferences, uh, connect to the leaders in your field, and to see where, where your field is moving. And um, it's also easier if you want to, to enter in the industry that you, you know people already working there. So if people get to know you and, and they know your way of thinking and the science you want to develop, it's easier for you to to get in later on. So, and, and also I think choose a good mentor. <laughs> like a supportive mentor is crucial. So you need somebody who is going to help you integrate 
your future job? I think my favorite moment, I have two probably, was um, when I was living at the guest house and even later I was able to like cook on, on, on the common kitchen so I could share uh, French food with my colleague and I could learn like recipe of different cuisine, like Indian cuisine. And I, I loved that a lot. And I also loved the postdoc retreat at, uh, when we were going to the mountain for skiing. And I think that's really the two moments where I connected and I made really good friends, like really strong connection. So that's probably my, my funniest moment at ISD.